Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and it has been 22 days since we checked in on our trash can bin, and I've been trying to make sure we continue to update this at that three week interval or so, and maybe even try to get it down a little bit, maybe to two weeks. But right now we're keeping it at three weeks along with our other urban worm bag and vermin bag system, but it's time to check in, see how it's doing, and hopefully all the food's gone. I've got one or two containers ready to go here, uh, depending on how it looks inside, and hopefully it's ready to go. So with that, I'm gonna wheel that bin out here, which I did add some wheels. If you didn't catch my video last time, I finally have some wheels so I can get into a better camera position. But we're gonna go ahead and check this bin out, see how it's doing, and add some food. Let's go check it out. All right, here's our system here. We've got our 731 date. Today's the 22nd, so 22 days. And as we open it up, it looks like there's still moisture in here. It looks pretty decent. And let's just go ahead and start digging in here. Actually, before we... Sorry about that, that was with the lid falling. Now let's just zoom in here just a little bit. No reason to be that far back. We can kind of move that around where we need it. But let's just see here. It looks like there's a lot of castings forming along this, this edge over here. So we're just gonna go ahead and dig out this one side right here real quick. I didn't see any bugs really come off of here either, which is great. But uh, I see some flying around now, but they're coming from the outside. But look at this material in here. Looks like it's nicely, it's starting to really break down nicely. The worms look really healthy. Lots of mature worms. We've also got a couple of smaller worms in here as well, which is a good sign. It's going to be hard to find cocoons in here, but maybe we'll see some. But this, this material looks pretty good. And it looks like the food is gone. And you can see, I mean, you can see the material as it turns more to this dark black almost color. That's the castings. Cardboard castings are usually a little bit more brown, but the food castings are that nice dark rich cover color that you see, which means that they also have a lot more nutrients in it probably too. So it looks like they're doing a good job. I'm not seeing, as I said, any food over here, which is a good sign. We are seeing cardboard. But let's just go ahead and pull this way a little bit more. You see no food over here either. Nice healthy castings, nice healthy worms. Looks like there's a collapse down here in the side over there. Up, oh, looks like we got our first little bit of food left with this banana peel. Again, still nice healthy worms in there. That's just that banana peel, this, this end piece. These always take a while to break down. These are very fibrous materials, so. But look at that, this, this looks pretty good as far as they're working on it, but it's taking more time. Nice healthy worm population in the cardboard. I always tell my red wigglers to kind of go through cardboard sort of slowly. So there's a lot of cardboard in here for them to work at, but it's just taking them some time. All right, let's just go around to this other side here. Looks like we had some coffee grounds over here. They might not quite have finished those off fully. I see some springtails on there as well. A nice healthy microbial population with all that composting going on. Let's just dig right in here. So you can see the cardboard is still, still left over a little bit. But the worms are still working at the food. They, and these worms really do like food a lot more than cardboard. But they were doing a good job on that food. The food is a pretty much all gone in here, except for that. Looked like there was a patch of coffee grounds right here that they might have still been chowing down on a little bit. And I can see some, uh, looks like that is probably fruit fly larva of some sort, or larva. That is, pro that is not a springtail. It's too big to be a springtail. And it's moving around in a way that is not a worm either and it's white, so that looks like that's probably a larva from some sort of fruit fly, if I had to guess. So, happens, I'm not too worried about it. I'm not, as I said, I'm not seeing a lot of bugs in here, and in my basement, it's not too bad either. Uh, so, not really worried. Although I could throw a trap in here just to be sure, but look at that, you can see the worms on here, They're looking really good and healthy. So let me get those guys off. All right, let's just, one last check over here on this top side. Let's just see. As I said, we're not finding any food really left over, which is a great sign. And again, this is almost all castings. Look at that. All the food's gone. So they went through all of that in the, the three weeks. All the food is gone. That's a great sign. We're going to go ahead and cover this back up. Let the worms dig down just for a little bit here. Make sure that they're away as we are going to load this in with some nice cold food. I think we are going to add two uh, containers of food this time. I was thinking maybe we'd only be able to add one. Maybe there'd be a lot of food left over. I wasn't sure how it would look, but this looks pretty good. 
and we're going to go ahead and add two. So this one's going to be a lot of leafy material here, this first container. Oh, we've got some corn cobs here in the bottom too. And uh, oh, it looks like my wife threw a container as well of, uh, this is a probably a blueberry container or something that's cardboard. So they're going to get a little extra, a little extra cardboard this time in their diet. But uh, so we've got some avocado shells. We've got corn, we've got apple, we've got, I think it's a peach seed. We'll see what they can do with this. I don't know if they'll be able to take that apart or not, but we'll leave that in there. Coffee grounds, bananas, of course we got our bananas, avocado seed. And this is a lot of leafy stuff right here. This is why we're gonna add two. These are beets, um, the stems of beets. Usually I would juice these, but unfortunately they just were not, they didn't look quite good when I went to juice. So I ended up just freezing them and throwing them in here. Unfortunately, they just it went bad pretty quickly before I could juice them. And uh, it happens, but I still still eat the beets themselves. So there we go, we got our more banana peels, and then we, of course we got our piece of cardboard, and it looks like there's some tea on there as well. This is just, as I said, a cardboard container that some, I think some blueberries came in or something. So, can't once they're wet though, you can't recycle them, so they came down here. All right, let's grab the second thing of food here. Now this is gonna be citrusy it looks like this one's been in my basement a long time you can tell by the there goes the lid the ice on top here that's how you can tell that this has really been in here for a while this ice so let's just smash that up in here make sure that it's going to drain through there that water and now look at this we've got apple cores these actually feel a little bit soft i wonder if this is thawing out in the bottom of my freezer or something got a ton of lemons these are we bought a whole bunch of lemons and then uh they went bad very very quickly which you know means they get thrown out unfortunately but these are a bunch of lemons they went bad so they're going to go in here we're going to see how well they work on those lemons and of course we are going to add our crushed egg and crab shell we're going to do that in just a minute here but first we're going to break off these coffee grounds a little bit break this up this actually feels a lot softer than i expected for something that's been in my freezer that long but We've got some tea bags in here, and as you can see, we also, and I've done this before, these Twinnings tea bags. Um, these seem to break down completely. There's no metal in them. Um, some of the tea bags I've had had staples and stuff like that, but this one's these seem to break down fully when you when you throw them in here. So we've got a whole bunch of Twinnings tea bags in here. Actually, one looks like one of them might be Bigelow. Yeah, one of them might be his Bigelow Constant Comment, which is one of my favorite teas for decaf. Um, but yeah, so we got a good amount of food in here, good variety. Avocado shell, some celery, or uh, no, I'm sorry, lettuce it looks like, the beet stems. So this is a good feeding, nice big feeding. It's going to take them a while to break this down, hopefully. But now what we're going to do is we're going to add our crushed crab and eggshell. For that, I've got my N95 mask on. Always wear a mask when you're using this stuff. This stuff is bad news for your lungs. And if you can't see, there's already dust in the air. It's moving up towards the camera. We're going to go ahead and sprinkle this on. I've been sprinkling this on a lot heavier. When I first used to do this, I didn't wear a mask, but I was a lot slower. We're going to sprinkle a lot of this on because of the limes in here. Got to make sure all that is neutralized. There we go. Nice heavy dusting in there. And that's good. Okay, now we've got our cardboard. This is pre-soaked. It's all wet. We're going to go ahead and start dumping this in on top. This is soaked in... Water that has a BTI mix it to it. So lots of water in here. Lots of water to hopefully prevent fungus gnats and fruit flies too. Although I don't think it's 100% effective. I know that some people have said it just should just, just uh, start just breaking up the dunks and just putting them right on here. I still don't like doing that. Not that I, I think that it's bad for it. I just don't think that it's going to help all that much more different than just adding water in here with, with it mixed in because it needs water to activate. So if it doesn't get wet, you're just running them through your system. Right, I'm just trying to scrape out this container now. But this is doing really, really well. And as I said, it's been 20, 22 days, so just over that three week mark. And we're, we're moving a lot, moving pretty well. And now we're up to this, uh, there's a ridge here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me back up just a little bit. Other way. There's a little ridge here, so we're up to that ridge in the trash can, and it's going to fall below that by the time we empty it out, which has been doing, I think, pretty much every time. This was, I really crammed 
the paper in this time before I put the water in. I think that worked a lot better. I think a lot, a lot of times I've just been kind of laying some water in and then dumping it in here and that has not been adding enough paper. This time there is more than enough paper in there. So I think we're ready to cover this up and put this back for another three weeks. Let me just get the cover here. Put that on here. And of course, oh wait, we need to throw on our little label, say that we checked it right here. And that's our update for this week. So this system is doing great. It's keeping up with the Verma bag and the Urban Worm bag. And it's holding its own. So, uh, you know, if, as a cheaper system, if you, if you can't get the Urban Worm bag or Verma bag in your area, then one of these trash cans can do the job for you. And we'll keep going with this. And then I'll show you the one drawback to this, which is harvesting. And we'll try to maybe get that uh, in three weeks time. Maybe this is with how high this is. Maybe it's time to kind of give it a harvest or a small harvest and see what we can get out of it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments or just want to just talk online, go ahead and shoot me a message here on the comments and I'll get back to you. Thank you for watching.